There's many benefits to using a buyer's advocate as far as I'm concerned. I know that when I buy my house and when my family buy their houses, I always recommend them going and finding a buyer's advocate. Um, in our world at the moment, the real estate agent really is the guiding factor and he works predominantly for the vendor. So he has the vendor's best interests at heart. He's also trying to get the highest price for the vendor because that price bracket determines what his commission is going to be. There's no one in that process there to help the buyer. And as a buyer, you've got no idea. You don't know that the agent's playing games or you think that they're on your side as well, but they may not be. I mean, there is obviously a level of conscious in there and yes, they probably are doing the right thing, but if you want to be represented, the best way to do that is with a buyer's advocate. There's a few things that, as far as I'm concerned, why you would be more beneficial using an advocate. One of them is they save you so much time. Wasted time going to auctions, looking at properties, doing open for inspections. When you're looking at a budget range that the agents set. So the agents might say this property is in the range of 50. But in reality, the agent knows that the vendor is only going to take 580 and above. Now, we do have a thing called underquoting, so it isn't as bad as maybe that example. But when you set your budget based on what the agent tells you, you're going to auctions weekend after weekend and constantly missing out. So that buyer's advocate can really set your expectations. They sit down with you. They determine what kind of property you're looking for. What areas are you looking for? What are the key aspects that you need around you? And they can pick all of these properties that suit your circumstances. The other massive benefit for buyers advocates is they get access to what we call off-market properties. So off-market properties are properties that are not on realestate.com or on domain. So there's no way that you or I would be able to find these opportunities. And a lot of the times, these are sales that are done um, I suppose, at a rush. So it might be a separation, a divorce, maybe someone's passed away, a deceased estate or Department of Housing is selling a property. Those kinds of things need to happen quickly. And a lot of the times you can get a bargain. So the buyer's advocates, because they create these relationships with the agents, get access to all of these, I guess, bargain properties, but also these properties that you'll never see. So time, money, hopefully, if they find you a bargain, um, and the other thing too is it's a peace of mind knowing that you're buying the right property for you. Um, in a couple of my other videos, I did speak about some of the, I suppose, potential downfalls that you can um, run into when you're buying property. The buyer's advocates really do lead you through the process and hold your hand and take away um, any of the anomalies that um, may come across in the process. Um, but they're also there to give you education along the way. So. We work really well with the buyer's advocates hand in hand. Um, we give the legal advice, they give the practical advice. So it's literally like having someone um, with 100% with industry knowledge take you through and guide you through this process um, without you being bamboozled by the agents, freaked out by auctions, because auctions are really, really confronting. Um, and they make sure that you get the best uh, outcome for your circumstances, not the vendor.